Hinduism. Hinduism is the world's oldest religion, according to many scholars with roots and customs dating back to more than 4,000 years. Today, with more than 4 billion followers, Hinduism is the third largest religion worldwide after Christianity and Islam. Roughly 94% of the world's Hindus live in India. The dominant religion of India emphasizes Dharma with its resulting ritual and social observances and often mystical contemplation and ascetic practices. Founders Hinduism has no definite founder, but its first practitioners are the Aryans, or its earliest known practitioners. The term Aryan refers to the Indo-Europeans who settled in India. They call themselves Aryan, whose exact meaning is unknown. But many theories have been proposed that the term means southerner, kinsman, or nobleman, which means they were a group of people who were spread into northern India bringing with them India's caste system of hierarchical classes in the Vedic religion that shaped modern Hinduism. The Vedas The Vedas are a large body of religious texts originating in India. Composed in Vedic Sanskrit, the texts constitute the oldest layer of Sanskrit literature and the oldest scriptures of Hinduism. There are four types of Vedas, Rig Veda, Sama Veda, Yajur Veda, and Antararva Veda. One of the best sources of ancient Indian history is Vedic liter literature. Vedas have formed the ancient Indian scripture. The Rig Veda is the earliest form of Veda, and it's also the oldest, dating from 1800 to 1100 BCE. Sama Veda is known as the Veda of Melodies and Chants. Sama Veda dates back to 1200 to 800 BCE. This Veda is related to public worship and its key features that it has 1,549 unique verses taken almost entirely from Rig Veda except for its 75 verses. Yajur Veda stands to mean worship knowledge. Yajur Veda dates back from 1100 to 800 BCE. Corresponding with Sama Veda, it compiles ritual offering mantras and chants. These chants were offered by the priest alongside the person used to perform a ritual, in the most cases, Yahna fire. The key features of Yajur Veda is on how the ritual or the a chants is now practiced. Atarva Veda. It stands to mean Atarpursha compound of Atarvan, an ancient sage in knowledge. Atarvan or knowledge. It dates back to 1000 to 800 BCE. In its key features, it has 730 hymns with about 6,000 mantras and divided into 20 books. The Bhagavad Gita, often referred as to as the Gita, it's a 700-verse Hindu scripture which is a part of the epic Mahabharata. The Bhagavad Gita is dated to be the second half of the first millennium BCE. It is considered to be one of the greatest spiritual books in the world has ever known. The primary purpose of the Bhagavad Gita is to illuminate for all humanity the relaxation of the true nature of divinity. For the highest spiritual conception and the greatest material perfection is to attain the love of God. The Doctrines Humans believe in the doctrines of the samsara, the continuous cycle of life, death, and the incarnation or rebirth, and karma, the universal law of cause and effect. One of the key features or thoughts of Hinduism is Atman, or the belief in soul, this philosophy holds that living creatures have a soul and they're all part of the supreme soul. And now to state the following doctrines. Dharma virtues such as Amisha Yoga, personal behavior, law and justice, rituals and rites of passage, Sayanasa and stages of life, duties such as learning from teachers. Dharma is a key concept with multiple meanings in the Indian religions among others. Kama, on the other hand, is a concept of Hinduism, which describes a system in which beneficial effects and are derived from past beneficial actions and harmful effects from past harmful actions, creating a system of actions and reactions throughout a soul's reincarnated lives, forming a, a cycle of rebirth. Artha includes wealth, career activity to a making a living, financial security, and economic pr prosperity. The proper pursuit of Artha is considered an important aim of human life in Hinduism. At the government level, Artha includes social, legal, economic, and worldly affairs. 
Atman is the concept of the universal eternal self that resides in the soul of all things. Atman is not just the body but the divine consciousness of the soul. Atman exists in all things in the universe. Humans, animals, rocks, rivers, trees, poetry, and science. Moksha is the freedom from the eternal cycle of life, death, and revert. This is the ultimate goal of an individual who practices Hinduism. Moksha is derived from the Sanskrit word muk, which means to be free. In Indian culture, the term moksha literally means to be free from the samsara. Brahman is a supreme universal spirit that is eternal and unchanging. Hindu holy books refer to Brahman as being present throughout the entire universe. And Hindus believe that all living beings carry a part of Brahman within themselves. This divine spark is known as the Atman. There are about 33 million gods in Hinduism. The following gods are shown in the following below. Vishnu is also known as the Narayana and Hari. He is one of the principal deities of Hinduism. He is the supreme being within Vaishnavism, one of the major traditions within the contemporary Hinduism. Vishnu is known as the preserver within the Trimutri, the, the triple deity of the supreme divinity that includes Brahma and Shiva. Agni is the god of fire and acceptor of sacrifices. Anala means fire in Sanskrit, equated among Agni. Mahabharata as a Chandra Vamsha Kata. Chandra means moon, representing the mind. Chandrama Monaso Yohate speaks through the different aspects different, and characters. Krishna is a major deity in Hinduism. He is worshipped as the eighth avatar of, of Vishnu and is also the supreme god in his own right. He is the god of protection, compassion, tenderness, and love, and is widely revered among Hindu divinities. Issues in Hinduism The caste system, gender inequality, and poverty While the caste system originated in Hindu scriptures, it crystallized during British colonial rule and has stratified society in every South Asian religious community. In addition to India, it is also present in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, the Maldives, and Bhutan. Social, economic, and political status in the apprenticeship system is tied to traditional occupations fixed by birth. Brahmins, for example, who are assigned priestly work at are at the top, and Dalits relegated to the bottom and are faced into occupations that are considered abject in South Asia, such as cleaning streets and toilets or working in the tanning industry. Caste-based rules of marriage maintain these boundaries firmly. While many of the so-called lower caste groups converted to escape their persecution in Hinduism, their new religions did not treat them as fully equal. South Asian and Christians, Muslims, Sikhs, and Buddhists with Dalit family histories continue to face prejudice from their new co-religionists. They are excluded from experience segregation at, say, at shared places of worship and sites of burial or cremation across all, all these regions. Social scientists have shown that strict based caste rules continue to regulate social organization and everyday interactions. Intercaste marriages are rare in India alone. They have remained about at 5% of all marriages over the past several decades. When they take place, the couples risk violence. The Yogas The Yoga of Knowledge or Yana The Yana Yoga is the path of wisdom and intellect. It involves a pursuit of knowledge and understanding of the true nature of reality, the self, and the universe. Practitioners of Ayana Yoga seek to transcend the limitations of the mind and ego through self-inquiry, study of scriptures, contemplation, and meditation. The goal is to realize the non-dual nature of existence and attain liberation or moksha by realizing the ultimate truth. The Yoga of Work or the Karma Yoga the Karma Yoga is the path of selfless service and action. Practitioners of the Karma Yoga perform their duties and actions without attachment to the results. Focusing on serving others and contributing to the well-being of society by acting selflessly and with a sense of duty, individuals practicing Karma Yoga aim to purify their hearts and attain spiritual growth. Next, the Yoga of Devotion or Love or the Bhakti Yoga. The Bhakti Yoga is the path of devotion and love towards a higher power or a personal deity or spiritual ideal. Practitioners of the Bhakti Yoga cultivate intense devotion, surrender, and loving adoration through practices such as a prayer, chanting, 
bakans or devotional songs, rituals, and worship. The main goal of the Bhakti Yoga is to establish a deep and intimate connection with the Divine. Lastly, the psychological exercises or the Raha Yoga. The Raha Yoga is known as the Royal Path and focuses on the cultivation of mental and emotional discipline. This path incorporates emotional practices such as meditation, concentration, breath control or the pranayama, ethical guidelines, and moral values to achieve self-realization and inner peace. Raha Yoga aims to influence the fluctuations of the mind, attain self-mastery, and experience unity with the Divine Consciousness. Thank you for listening.